Growing up as a Mozambican boy, I've always dreamed to, be, to live outside Mozambique. More specifically, I thought I was going to be living in America, and I believe that was going to happen. It's going to happen. And if you grow up with me, you know that I, I, I was saying since I was a little boy, I was going to be living in America. But the fate took me to England instead, and I, I'm living in England now. We are home. We made it. First time in a bus. <laughs> was a big and chopper. Another journey. And then after I've been in England, I started start having kids. My dream changed, or it didn't change, developed to have to go back home, take my kids to show them the roots, where I'm from, where, where, where it all started. And now we're family? here. Uh, I feel my heart, my heart and soul feel full. My, my kids meeting my mom for the first time, meeting my dad for the first time, it's just a bliss. I can't express it how I, how I feel and how my mom feels. It's just, it's like a dream come through because at times she didn't believe that she would meet the kids, thinking about the cost of, of the flights, all the rest of it. But we made it, we're here. Now I'm showing my kids everything, showing where, where I went to school, where, where I used to go around, where I used to buy some bread. And we went to the beach. It's just gone everywhere just to explore and then show them how Mozambique is like. And they, I'm really proud of them. They blend in easily and then they made, them, made some friends, they're playing football, they're playing games. Even though not the communication a little bit of barrier, but they don't seem to mind as much. They come back, they come to me and ask, or to their mom, they ask the meaning if they don't, they don't know how to say something and then go back and play. And it's lovely, it's lovely to see. I'm really, really proud of them. And from now on, I'm gonna start talking and let you enjoy the video. Hola. Tira mal aí fora, tem um cão aí. É dog. bedroom, I Go on, go on, go get a big one. It's not gonna do anything. Just 
That's it. That's it. a good corner there. Just grab it. Grab it. Grab it, Marlon. But just... No, no, it won't. This is no... This is, don't peg these ones. This, this one, they don't peg it. They're scared. The chicken only pegs when he's... Uh, they've got babies. But this one, they don't do really babies. Just, come on. That's it. Hold his feet as well. That's it. Perfect. Don't drop it while I run again. Hey, my go, 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 go. Spoon. Drop your spoon. I like it. I'm going to spare a little. Wait, wait, wait. I never Vem a água. Vai para cá. Vem para cá. Hey. 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 Hey.
Água. Água. Oh, so we can access it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the paradise. I see your parents are all selfish. Ha. Ha. I see. What is it? Boom, man. Hey. That's good. Go on, Lila. Take your shoes off, Baba. And go in. See that big crab? Big crab here, you see it? Yeah. That one. I'm happy here's the climb. And they said, Baba. And they said, Nice. Hey, you gotta show how to swim. Teach her how to swim. Go teach her how to swim. Teach her how to swim. So this is it. This is our first week in Mozambique. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you for supporting the channel. See you again next week with more Mozambican content. I'm excited to share with you. I'm excited to share with you the next adventures. Bye for now.